Do you ever wonder what it's like to be new to New York City as a creative? In this video, I'm gonna be asking some people coming to the Creators NYC Meetup if they're new to the city, and if they are, I'm gonna ask them what their experience has been so far here in New York. I find it really difficult to articulate exactly how it feels to be someone that's new here, that doesn't know anybody. I mean, I was really lucky when I first came to the city because I actually had a friend that I came to visit and he had been here six months prior, shout out to Elliot Walker. And uh, basically he gave me a handful of connections that I got started with when I finally decided by the end of my three day weekend that I wanted to stay here. People in general that are coming to the city, they might not have somebody that they know right away. And honestly, that's a huge reason why I started Creators NYC. It's a weekly Saturday meetup where we have an open invite to everybody because we want to be that place that people feel comfortable going when they first get to the city and want to get to know a few people that are actually living here and working here. We always have new people there, so fingers crossed we have a few new people that we can interview today. It's right here. Uh, we've bounced around at a lot of cafes, but Think is definitely one of our favorites. Their logo is very similar to ours. To not only have a spot on a cold Saturday that we could sit inside and just talk to each other, but also have a spot when it's nice and beautiful like today that we could go just walk a few blocks down to Washington Square Park and go hang out there. It's a huge benefit and one of the reasons why I love meeting up here. So whenever you walk in to a Creators NYC meetup, just look for a group of people that look like creatives like this. Um, someone's gonna greet you if I'm there, I'm gonna greet you. Don't feel scared, because everyone here is like the nicest of New Yorkers that there are. And uh, yeah, let's see if anybody's new. How long have you been in the city for? It's been one month. What is your name first off? Uh, my name is Taeyong. Taeyo. Taeyo from South Korea. And you've been coming to Creators of My C meetups. Or you've been to quite a few for like the last yeah. month or so? Yeah, that's yeah. right. It's yeah, really so what was your experience like moving here? So um, it's a long way to come here. It's, yeah. It took 13 hours flight from South Korea. So, so um, it's yeah. quite hard to come here. And um, it's quite a big challenge to come here actually. Yeah. I have to speak English and um, <laughs> I have to get used to New York City, the mood and the whole thing is quite Right. A big challenge for me. What's the best part about being in the city for you? I can say the whole thing. <laughs> in fact, building or the something from the movie. I can see what I saw in the movie. <laughs> being able to like walk around and see what you saw in movies. Yeah, that's like one of your favorite thing, parts. The drama or my favorite drama or I can yeah. see the building or we're in a location. Yeah, that was an amazing part. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been everywhere that there's a dot on this map. Yeah, that's and right. You shoot street photography. Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. <laughs> Being able to just like pick somebody like Jared who's like trying to experience more of the city and uh, somebody like Talier who has been to many spots in the city but he's looking for somewhere new. You could just like ask somebody here for like a new spot, some, like advice or some, like inspiration for your next work. It's incredible. So where did you recommend Jerry? I said Broadway on Soho and then go down to Chinatown. We gotta find another newbie to the city. And uh, I was talking to Jay here. Hello. How long have you been here? <laughs> I've been here and made six weeks today. What do you do? Um, so I am a freelance uh, digital marketing uh, manager. So I help brands in the hospitality space um, with videography and photography online, and I'm also in real estate. Okay. Yes. Do you guys mind if I steal her? I'm over there. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. okay, we're gonna try to do one of these, I okay. think. Yeah, we're gonna try to do one of these. Okay. Now we're over here. Yes. Um, so six weeks in the city. Six weeks in the city. And what are you doing? What are you trying to do here? What's What's your New York City dream goal? Oh, that's such a great question. Um, my dream goal would be to build um, a platform or a, um, a media brand that looks to inspire creatives to take action in their dream and 
allow them the, the freedom and the tool, give them the tools to um, figure out how to go about doing it. You know, I think the creative, you know, industry and, you know, us as creatives, there's not one linear path. All you know, photographers that are all doing different things that all want different goals. And I think so many people who have worked maybe in the corporate space can feel a little intimidated about, um, you know, putting themselves out there creatively. I know that when I first did I felt very nervous about it. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting up close and personal. Um, when I first did, I felt um, very nervous about it just because I didn't know what that was, but it was more so just an uncovering of self. I'd love to build something that helps people, um, number one, see themselves, and have the tools and know in the roadmap to know, hey, if you decide to, you know, pursue your creative dreams, um, it's this is how this person did it, and here's their story. So yeah, that that's pretty much what I'm looking to build on, like the the macro level. Just like a really short description, how does this? What does it look like to you? Is this a community production studio? Like, what is this? He's asking great questions. It is a media company, um, and within that media company, there's a segment of it that is a production studio. Me and you have a very similar vision, and I love crazy. that. Okay, yeah. it didn't sound like, I was so worried it sounded convoluted, and like I wasn't making sense. No, 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 sense. no, no, no. Okay, I love okay. it. But let's, let's bring it back to just like coming to New York City and making yeah. like that decision. Yeah. Um, I love what you're trying to go after Thank while you. while being here. But like, what was it that made you decide now's the time for New York? Mm, that's, su that's such a good question. So I had been in Houston um, eight. Eight years, eight and a half years. So I stayed from July 2015 to October 2023. I knew I wanted to leave Houston in 2020. Worked in real estate for um, a long time and I was really good at it, but it got to the point to where in 2022, I left my job. Um, I traveled around for a bit and started my blog, as I mentioned, and just really tried to understand what was this new life looking like for me. Like a lot of people, I'm sure 2020, 2020 made people think about what they wanted to do and, you know, I have all of these like cool ideas and dreams that I, I kind of want to explore. Is this my life? And I was starting to feel like spoiled milk in Houston. Like I felt like my shelf life, shelf life was expiring and I needed to explore new things. I had it in my mind to move and I got paralyzed by fear. Literally could not move, guys. What, what do you think it was mostly? Was it like a, oh my God, New York is expensive. Oh my God, I don't know people in New York. Like what, was there like a specific like front runner with like what was scary about it? Yeah, it, it wasn't more so I don't know people because like I, I can, I'm, I feel like I'm comfortable connecting with strangers. We just met today. We just met. Just met. You're great. Like, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> We're friends now. Exactly. Like, I'm, I'm, we'll, you'll be seeing me more. But I think it was just maybe the unknown, and I didn't expect that for me. I'm paralyzed by fear. I'm trying to like launch this thing, and I don't know really what it's what it is, but I just know it's fun, and I'm having a good time at it. So I do it, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I have kind of a fear of being seen a little bit, and I wasn't expecting that. Not only do I have interest for a reason, but I have like drive and just the the needs and feel to be somewhere. I have to honor that, just like we honor our taste buds. I don't like mayonnaise. I don't like ranch. I'm not gonna eat it. Well, I'm not gonna put it on my plate. It can be as simple as that. You know, if I'm gagging every time I eat ranch, I'm not gonna keep doing it. At this point, I'm suffocating in Houston. <laughs> so, Houston is ranch, and you don't like ranch. <laughs> Two things I took away from that. <laughs> when you feel like your time is expired in some somewhere, or even if you have a pull to a city that you visited, and you're like, I don't know why I want to move there, but I really do. I just think, why not just try it? Since coming to New York City, two questions for you. Yeah. What was your, what's been your favorite part about just being here? Man, the people. The people make the city, you know? I think, um, I've always loved, come, like me and my friends, when we visit New York, we have a ball, right? I always feel like I get a little like Energizer Bunny battery pack when I come here, because it just, it just energizes me so much. But I think the people are incredible. Um, I look at all these businesses in New York that are kind of one of a kind, one-offs. And you have to think that all of those businesses started with just an idea in somebody's mind that they've brought to fruition. So you find just like walking around and seeing other businesses operating absolutely. as inspiration. Absolutely, because it, it, all of these things, they, they start as a tiny little idea um, and, and just passion and fearlessness that people have had to move through to get to what they want. Mm -hmm. And you know, I've met 
you know, and been with different co-working groups and, and now this photography creative group and this guy just whips out his camera like, hey, can I interview you real quick? And I'm like, hell yeah. Like, the, the fearlessness and the, the just desire to just do what you're passionate you about. You gotta be fearless. You have to be. What do you hate about living in the city so far? What is the worst thing that you've encountered or like have to encounter? Man, okay, there's maybe two things. Uh, yeah, and you know what? One of them is kind of, you know, ridiculous, but I'm gluten-free. Why can't I find a pizza place that has a single gluten-free slice? I have to buy the whole pizza. That is horrible. I have not had one slice of pizza since being here. I've had to buy a whole pie. I don't want to buy the whole pie. <laughs> Another thing is um, everybody talks about the price, which I think is fair, but um, I think some things are a little bit more greedy than others. It's like, why am I paying five dollars for a cup of tea? That's not a problem. Um, there's a stigma also about a lot of people in New York aren't nice, and I have not had that encounter at all. That one, that one's not true. Um, yeah. And I fully believe in the statement that New Yorkers aren't. They're not nice. I mean, they're not polite. But they, but they are, are kind. kind. Yeah. 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 Um, if you really need help, they'll be there. Absolutely. And I believe that. Wow, what a great conversation with yes, you. Um, awesome. Probably will definitely have her in another video coming soon, but um, yeah. Wow. I would love to. I have one more person here that I want to talk to. Yes. Yeah. So thank you for being on. <laughs> Where can welcome. people follow you? You can follow me at Indea Bell on um, Instagram. It's on the screen right the there. Screen. <laughs> and then um, I have a website, bellspalette.com. You can check that out. All right. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Right. What's your Yo, name? Ali. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's always a makeshift setup. We love to see it. Okay. All Ali, right. how's your time in New York City? Your few weeks in New York City been? How long has it really been? It's been like two weeks. I mean, weeks. I moved in February, but I left. Like, I moved in for a day, and then I left for three weeks. I went to Pakistan. Okay. So yeah, I, I haven't really moved in uh, until I came back. Okay. So it's been like two, three weeks since nice. I've been here. Where Where were you before you decided I'm going to move to New York City? Yeah, so I, I grew up in Jersey and then I moved to San Francisco, California. How was, long were you there? Uh, I was in the Bay for two years and then I moved back here to the city. Is this cheaper than San Francisco? Is it cheaper? Dude, that's a, it? I feel like it depends on where you go, right? <laughs> I feel like dining, yo, dining here is crazy. Dining here is so expensive. Cause oh, like, wow. Like over, I guess, so in San Francisco, you can get a good meal that fills you up for like 25 bucks, okay? okay. You know, 25 bucks, which is kind of expensive, okay? But in New York, I feel like it's either like you get like a pizza or a lot for like a dollar or ten dollars, or you go to this other restaurant for like sixty. You know what I mean? Like I feel like there's no middle ground. That's what we're missing here in New York. I feel like we're missing like a middle ground restaurant. I feel like uh, I guess I, I'd recommend trying bodegas. Yeah. Like bodegas, some of them don't only do like heroes and sandwiches. Uh -huh. They'll also have like hot dishes, and those are good like fifteen dollar middle ground dishes. I think. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Besides that though, I mean rent. It's kind of the same. I think it depends. That's what on, I was yeah. Yeah. Rent, wondering. Yeah. Rent's kind of the same. Uh, I think like you can find any rent in the city, but it just depends on what you want to sacrifice, you know? Oh yeah. So like I don't have laundry anymore, no AC, uh, no dishwasher, which has been a, <laughs> oh that one's a big one. <laughs> do you cook? I do cook. Oh, I do wow. cook. What's your favorite um, dish to make? Dude, I make a if you have one. favorite, but I make a mean lasagna. I make a mean, I make lasagna. A mean lasagna. Yo, too. Yeah, you have a lasagna party. <laughs> what are you here in the city doing? What am I here in the city? Uh, so I moved here um, just because like my parents are here, uh, my girlfriend's here, uh, so I just moved back here. And then I'm old, but I'm really looking for like creative networking. Okay. So aside from like my day job, I'm trying to start a clothing brand. So I'm in the process of doing that, just trying to meet other people, trying to get inspired by people, trying to work with other brands, collab, collab, intern, whatever. Just trying to learn as much as I can and then start my own, you know. I remember you talking about this. What specific type of clothes are you trying to conquer in a different way? Yeah, man, I'm trying to go for like, like et ethical streetwear. I guess is like the yeah, best phrase I got that's, for you. That's know? what I remember. Uh, <laughs> um, I think like, I think first like, I feel like the individuality of streetwear has like died. You yeah. know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people, and I'm guilty of this right now. You know what I mean? A lot of people just kind of like wear. Like one color, everything. You know, my pants are black. 
this shirt is like mostly gray, okay. and this is like a green jacket. You got you know? the neutral tone. Exactly, green. it's like all okay. neutrals. It's like I'm and kind it's of like, other than the blue coat, I'm kind of on the same white. Yeah, and like to gray, me, like yeah. it's not expressive enough. You know, I feel like everyone starts looking the same. If I look into a sea of people, if I go to a concert, you know. Everyone just looks the same, aside from like the artist merch, maybe if they like dress up, you know, which is sick. I love that. Yeah. Um, but aside from that, like everyone's kind of wearing the same shit, you know, mm. and that's always like, I don't know. I've never like been a fan of that because like to me, I feel like like if I get like a new pair of shoes, I'm like, yeah, this is like my pair, you know, it's unique, it's special, you know. Yeah. But if everyone starts wearing them, it's like it kind of like defeats the individuality of it, you know, it's not yeah. as cool to me anymore, you know. Uh, so I just want to bring that back into streetwear. For anybody that's coming to the city, even though you're just like a couple weeks into actually being here, yeah. What's your best advice right now? First things first, you gotta you gotta follow this Instagram page. What's oh, this? you gotta follow man. this Instagram page. The uh, fuck up. Creators of New York, Thanks, baby. Man, I'll give you the tour afterwards. Of course, baby. <laughs> um, but no, seriously, like you gotta find. I feel like so when I moved here, I really wanted to find creative friends. Not because like my friends like. Everywhere else have been fantastic. I love all my friends so much, but I feel like if you have creative friends, they will. You can work with them. Like all my friends are supportive. But I feel like if you have creative friends, your creative friends can support you and also work with you, which I think is super helpful in terms of like you know popping ideas back and forth, or like you know just even like working at a coffee shop for a couple hours and be like yo does this look good what do you think of this you know i think as a creator that is one of the most valuable relationships that you can get into yeah. so if you are looking to meet people and you are coming to new york city i mean at creators nyc there's always people looking to meet new people mm -hmm. so i think it's a great place to start i mean there are so many people in this city exactly and that's what's so unique about this city right like you can find like it doesn't have to be this group it should be this group but it doesn't have to be <laughs> right like you that, can, it's true. You can go anywhere and find a group of creators, I think, maybe. I tried, uh, and personally, I think this one, this one popped Dang, off. Dang. This, this is... one popped off. Uh, and so, yeah, wow. if you come here, just tell them all Lee sent you. Um, thank you. For sure. I mean, it feels special to hear you say that. So. For sure, for sure. Where could people follow you to see like what you're doing? Yeah, um, so my Instagram is at hello I'm Ali. I have been off Instagram for a long time, but if you want to okay. DM me, feel free. Uh, if you want to work together, feel free. Cool. Yeah, man. All right, let's get back inside. It's kind of yeah, cold. Yeah, it's freezing. I'm shivering. <laughs> you know, that's what. That's one thing San Francisco had. Nice weather. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Uh, Twelve. Meetup's over. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna go to Washington Square Park for a little bit. We're the back. I got it. <laughs> okay. What are you shooting off of? Oh, what, like the camera? Yeah. It's uh, Olympus stylus. It like fits nice in your pocket, you can take it anywhere, so. It's great. Super fun, wait. Go do it. There we go. <laughs> that's all. What? That's go 35 to 70. That's amazing. Yeah. Before I used to shoot concerts only with this. No but way. I couldn't get photo passes. Yeah. This is what I would do. That's but actually, awesome. some shots actually came out decent. It's awesome. Yeah. So I'm leaving for us now. This is with that camera? Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. I love like this one. That yeah. Was so sick. That's one of my favorites. Uh, meetup was a blast. How is this truck doing this? That's <laughs> that's a wall right now. You couldn't even walk between the car. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> what? Yeah. Work to work. Everybody. Mm -hmm. I gotta try. Oh. That's That is beautiful. Well, I think this is a good place to leave this video off. Uh, having these types of conversations with creatives here in the city that are new to the city reminds me of just how much this city means to me. Hearing the, the same experiences that I've had where like living in other cities, it's hard to find people that are gonna engage with you and actually work with you on like building something and then also just finding the right type of people for you. Not every city has a big community of creatives. Uh, just being here in New York, talking to people who are still new here, trying to figure it out, is so inspiring. If you are somebody that is looking to move to New York City, I hope that those conversations were helpful to you in discovering what 
living here could really mean to you and how it could change your life, how it could change your creativity, how it could change what you're doing and what you're trying to build. And I think that that is such an important conversation to have. So this is gonna be a series that I'm gonna do on this channel, I think. Um, we always have new people coming to Creators NYC meetups. So if you're moving to New York City or you wanna learn more about people that are moving to New York City, please subscribe to this channel follow along and if you ever are in the city I hope to see you at one of these meetups I always leave feeling so good but uh that's it uh, we're gonna enjoy <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy these uh, blossoms I'm gonna enjoy Washington Square Park there's music there's people it's it's incredible here um, so I'm gonna go have a day I'll see you in the next one bye Believe in things you don't understand when you suffer.